what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides, and I am back here at Elder Ford in sunny Tampa, Florida. My friend Nadia, she called me up. They literally just got this truck right off of a trailer, and it hasn't even gone through PDI yet. What I have here is a 2018, not just regular Raptor, if a regular Raptor isn't enough for you, this is a 2018 Shelby Raptor. And this is one of 500. And when I saw it, I was like, perfect. It's one of my favorite colors, that lead foot gray. So let me give you a little bit of history about Carroll Shelby. Carroll Shelby, when he was around, because remember, he passed away, unfortunately, in May of 2012. When he first started putting Ford engines into cars, that was all the way back in 1962. Fast forward to 2018, his name lives on. Shelby American is working their magic, and this is a perfect example, and it really is one of the only ways to get a Raptor, not only with extra suspension travel, not only with better wheels and tires, but with more horsepower. Let's take a look at the front of this Shelby Raptor. I love the front end. Right off the bat, I love the front end of any Raptor, but I love the Shelby hood. You have this dual snorkel hood. This is functional. I love the left foot gray with the black racing stripes, the Shelby name across the front of the hood. There's just so many names out there, but when it comes to Shelby, it brings that extra specialness of power, of performance. Look at the lower front bumper. This is all steel. I love how it really just wraps underneath the bottom of the front of the truck, sneaking behind. I don't know, I'm gonna try to challenge Tom. This is a Big Guns McGee challenge. If Tom zooms in on this Shelby logo, sneaking back behind there, you could see the Shelby name on that intercooler. Very, very cool because this actually has an increased intercooler because at the end of the day, we're looking at 525 horsepower. That's more than standard. Standard is 450, so 525 horsepower, this is a 40 inch, 40 inch LED light bar at the front. I just love the way that this steel bumper really goes well with the lines of the truck. I love there's LED lights in there. Those are 12 inch LED light strips in there. And just the massive strength of this truck. It has that aggressive, purposeful, menacing Baja 500 almost like a trophy truck. And that's really one of the reasons why I love these Ford Raptors. When I first saw a Ford Raptor in person many years ago, it looked like a Baja right out of the sand dunes racer. And this thing is just taking it to the next level. Really, really knocked it out of the park with the front of the truck. Let's go ahead and take a look at the side. So this is gonna have adjustable suspension. Look at the beefed up stage three Fox suspension. Just crazy with the upper and lower control arms. Everything is there for show and it's there for go because this thing off-roading is going to be one hell of a performer. Speaking of performer, check out these wheels. This is an 18-inch forge wheel. I really like the way they went smart with the BF Goodrich, uh, those uh, off-road specific tires, 35-inch tire, 18-inch wheel. There's that Shelby logo. This thing is drop dead gorgeous and it just works so well with the lead foot gray, so well. As we pan down the side, you have your traditional um, Raptor styling. And then down here, I like what they did. They're showing off that horsepower number, 525 horsepower from that 3.5 liter twin turbo EcoBoost engine. Unbelievable. You can see that this one your standard Raptor is going to have just a, a stationary running board. These have those amazing drop down running boards when you open up the door. Very, very nice touch on the Raptor. Really, really amazing. And then what's nice is when you close the door, eventually they go right back up. Here's one of my favorite parts. So not only do we have a little bit of that Shelby Raptor Baja name, there's nothing more famous in off-road than that Baja name. Shelby with the Baja, and I really, really love the light bar back here, and we're gonna show you that that light bar, it's a 50-inch light bar, so this thing probably could light up the darkest of areas of the world. And what's amazing about this light bar, which we'll show you earlier, it actually is powered. You could fold it down and fold it up all by the press of a button. That is really, really where it's at with this type of truck. It even comes lurking behind where you have two set, uh, uh, 
two actual sets of wheels and tires back there that are mounted in the back of the truck just like a Baja racer. And then to wrap off the back, I'm going to have Tom show off the really amazing suspension that is back here, that Fox suspension, fully adjustable, unbelievable for that off-road lover in you to take this just anywhere. And then really, really nice to wrap out the back is they went ahead and did the same treatment with the steel bumper up front. They added another one out back. You got LED lighting. I love the Shelby Raptor Baja logo. Nothing too obnoxious, but it lets you know that, hey, this is not your standard Ford Raptor. And then they kept the dual exhaust right out the back. This thing is one performer. Speaking about the performer, let's go ahead and check out the heart of the Shelby Raptor. All right, guys, here we are underneath the hood of this Shelby Raptor, that Baja Raptor. Check out the cold air intake, that high flow air filter. I really, really love how they even went to the extent to put the Shelby name. And that's something I know some people who watch the Shelby Super Snake, you were like, how many Shelby logos are they gonna put on the car? But you know, at the end of the day, uh, that is a name that carries a lot of weight in the performance world. But what you're looking at is that 3.5 liter, that V6 EcoBoost twin turbos, 525 horsepower, 610 foot pounds of torque. Like I said, it's got uh, a special heat shield. It's got that increased intercooler capacity and obviously the ability to flow more air into that intake to feed this engine. I love how they went to the extent to get more power because if you look at a Roush Raptor, the Roush Raptor isn't getting the extra power. It's stuck at 450. This 525 horsepower Baja Beast, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to fire it up and hear what this thing sounds like. Let's go ahead and fire it up. guys here we are inside the 2018 Shelby Raptor what I love is not only is the outside done up to look like a performer so is the inside check out what they've done with the seats I love the addition of the uh, embroidered Shelby Raptor Baja logo I love the Alcantara and guess what they kept the functionality of the stock seats with the heated and the air conditioning those are the touches I like to see and I think that we expect at a truck at this price point. Remember, at the end of the day, you're looking at around $117,000. That's the MSRP for this truck. And when we say it just rolled off the truck, it has not gone through PDI. All books and uh, little labels and everything are still in the truck because Elder Ford wanted to make sure that we brought it to you ASAP. Check out the door panels. See a carbon fiber. I hope you're wearing your carbon fiber swim trunks because this is a sea of carbon fiber, not only from the door handle, but the window switch area. Also check out the air vents around the air vents, carbon fiber galore. You think it's done? As you pan with Tom and look at that Shelby Baja Raptor CSM um, VIN number, check out all the carbon fiber here on the center console. Everywhere you look, everywhere you touch, carbon fiber, it still has that amazing infotainment system. I love the sync system in the Ford products. Check out on the armrest here. I like the way they've gone to the extent of even putting the Shelby, Shelby Raptor Baja logo on the armrest. You still have the great functionality of a huge center console area and the riding position is superb. Full panoramic and you know what? Even with those two big, huge tires out the back window, my visibility is still really good. And it's going to make people say, where in the hell is that guy going? Because that's what this truck looks like. When you're driving down the road, it's one of those trucks where you're like, where is that guy going with that truck? Why don't you come on over here and I'll show you what it's like behind the wheel of this Shelby Raptor. All right, guys, here we are. The business end, as I like to say, there's not a zonk to be found in this truck. This truck... And I would expect at a price point of $117,000,
This truck has no zonks. I guess if you're going to zonk it, it's the price. Um, but you can see the carbon fiber continues, obviously, on the driver door uh, panel, the handle, the switches. Check out the steering wheel. Now, hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to recant my statement. I'm recanting my statement. There's a zonk in this Shelby Raptor. I'm zonking it. This center horn button area, this needs to be ripped off. And I want to see a Shelby Cobra snake staring at me right in my eyes as I'm going in the Baja 500 in this truck. I don't know why they left that out. You can see they did beautiful carbon fiber, even to the extent, let's challenge Tom's camera skills, even the instrumentation bezel, this whole area is carbon fiber, except for this part, everything else is carbon fiber. Unbelievable, the quality, the look, the feel. This is a Raptor like nobody else's business. Check out the pedals. They really do sparkle like diamonds down there because of the finish on them. Even they went to the extent of doing something with the e-brake. I mean, that there is really, really amazing. Let me show you something. You see this switch right here? You're probably wondering, what is that? Watch as Tom pans out. You want the light bar to go down? You go ahead and you hit that button and the light bar goes down. You want it to come back up? That's what I'm talking about. That's what this truck is all about. It's about putting a smile on your face, having so many accessories and functionality to it. It is unbelievable what this truck is capable of. I don't know if Tom could show you out back those huge tires sitting at the back of the truck. Unbelievable, this truck. If you're ready, I don't want to wrap it up, but let's go ahead and wrap this one up. All right, guys, I know we said we were going to wrap it up, but I could not finish this Shelby Raptor, that Baja Raptor video without showing you the bed area of this truck. I'm going to go ahead. This has that really wonderful um, tailgate that just drops down. I'm going to go ahead and jump out of the back here. Tom's going to go ahead and show you the setup with the mounting. Uh, Tom, go ahead and kind of show them the back of the tire setup. Look at the mounting points of how those things, those tires and wheels mount to the actual back of the bed of the truck. Amazing. That's all high grade material and it's super duper strong because that's what it needs to be. This thing is a off-road beast, 525 horsepower. What else would you expect? But these are the features that with this Shelby Raptor, that Baja Raptor, that is going to separate you from the sea of Ford Raptors out there. Because I'll be honest, Ford Raptors have been selling pretty good because I see a lot in my area. I don't know about your neck of the woods. This one is going to make you stand out from the crowd, no doubt in my mind. And then so easy to put back up. But now if you're ready, I'm ready to wrap it up. All right, guys, it's been one hell of a day here at Elder Ford. I got to thank Nadia and everybody else here. They're so welcoming to Radies Rides and they have some of the most special Ford products on the market in the area by far. And you could tell with this 2018 Shelby Baja Raptor, it's got you covered from stem to stern, top to bottom, diagonal, every which direction, from the suspension, from that extra horsepower, to the upgraded interior, to that back bed area with two full size wheels and tires and that light bar that's just mind blowing. If these are the types of things you like to see on Radies Rides, these badass trucks, leave a comment in that comment section. If you have not subscribed yet, honestly, what are you waiting for? I don't know many other people out there in YouTube land that are bringing you these amazing vehicles like we are here on Radies Rides. Amazing, amazing setup. If you have been a subscriber, thank you. Thank you for being part of this journey. Thank you for being part of this family, this community. Remember, this is one of 500. You guys are so special. This truck is special, and that's why I like bringing the specialness together between everybody. It's a wonderful feeling. Make sure you check out my Facebook, my Instagram, and my Twitter pages, all Radies Rides original content all the time. Get yourself some merch. I know you guys want to support the channel. I know you want to help promote it, and I am so grateful for that. How do you do it? There was a tab that came up at the beginning of this video. Click on that. It'll take you right to the Radies Rides merch store. Hats, shirts, bags, hoodies, everything you could want and need to be an awesome supporter like you are, guys are, and I appreciate it every single day. Speaking of appreciation, it is YouTube Cameraman Appreciation Month, and no better cameraman out there in YouTube land 
than Big Guns McGee, Thomas Moshner. You guys love him. I'm telling you, the women around here, we got a line. After we're done, he's signing autographs, taking pictures with his biceps. It's amazing. He's getting ready for his powerlifting competition. So definitely give him a shout out in that comment section. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.